Hi, Dr. Shook here. Today is our fourth sauna session. It is Thursday, August the 20th of 2015. And today I want to talk about something that is uh, very relevant. I've, I've been contacted by a few patients around the country that have had some nasty side effects that they believe are related to antibiotic use. And what ends up happening to them is that they have a number of different symptoms. Uh, I want to talk about a particular class of antibiotics that we know have a very strong likelihood of causing problems, especially if you're taking a thyroid hormone replacement. Okay, these are fluoroquinolones. Okay, this is a class of antibiotic. <clears throat> the first time that I really heard about this, <clears throat> I was contacted by a patient out of state that sent me an email and said, you know, I developed, um, I developed peripheral neuropathy and I developed all these problems after I took this antibiotic. And I'm not going to name a, a brand name, but you can look up fluoroquinolones. And uh, there's a particular saying for this one brand name. They use the brand name and it's kind of a slang term that references what it can do to you. OK, so I don't want to get into any of that. I just tell you the class of antibiotic and and what a little bit about it. So these fluoroquinolones. Uh, what they are is it's an antibiotic. And let me tell you something. Antibiotics have saved so many lives over the years. I mean, without them, so many people would have died from infections. And, you know, I think that they're being overutilized today, that we need to use them in situations where, you know, we have life threatening conditions. But that's your doctor's decision. And, and that's, you know, a personal decision that you make with your, your physician because we're developing all these antibiotic resistant strains now and the antibiotics are losing their effectiveness. That's another video. So let's talk about these fluoroquinolones. So first of all, these fluoroquinolones, what they are is they're, they're made, it's an antibiotic on a fluoride backbone. Okay, so fluor, the, the, uh, the fluorine, the, the fluoride backbone is actually the problem because we know that fluoride competes with thyroid hormone. Okay, so if you're taking, if you're taking like uh, levothyroxine, so you're taking a synthetic T4, okay, which is most people are taking a synthetic T4. It's the most prescribed thyroid hormone replacement. It's a synthetic T4. Your thyroid primarily makes T4. That T4 has to be converted into T3 in the liver and the gut and a little bit in the peripheral tissues. But the primary thing you need to know is it's made, is it, is that these these fluoroquinolones have a fluoride backbone that competes with your T4. So anything that competes with T4, with, with, uh, with the T4 uptake is going to interfere with your body's ability to use the, the, the uh, thyroid hormone. So one of the side effects of these fluoroquinolones, besides a lot of nasty, nasty side effects, and I mean nothing that's even, you know, not necessarily related to the thyroid, which is what we're focusing on because that's what I work with a lot. You know, these these things are uh, it can create every thyroid symptom imaginable. So if you're taking an antibiotic or you're going to take an antibiotic, ask your pharmacist to say, hey, is this a uh, is this a fluoroquinolone or is this a quinolone antibiotic? And and just tell them, you know, I'm taking I'm taking if you're taking a thyroid hormone replacement, you know, let them know. But I would tell you that you can just look up side effects and you don't have to be taking a thyroid hormone to have some very, very nasty side effects from these antibiotics. You know, the best way to do any type of, to take any type of antibiotic is to be very specific to the strain of bacteria that you're trying to kill so that, you know, your doctors may be able to actually do testing on the type of bacteria and they can test it to sensitivity so that you can use a more specific antibiotic because some antibiotics you, you don't want to, you don't want to use, you know, the, um, most powerful antibiotic possible to kill something that a that a very that a weaker antibiotic will affect because you you, you might need that stronger antibiotic later in your life so don't use the the heavy guns so to speak you know use be very specific to the strain and and try to get an antibiotic that's very specific to you and I would just tell you watch out for these quinolones you can look up fluoroquinolones look at all the different brand names and look up side effects so if you're taking an antibiotic look it up but I hope this helps you out it's one of the things that I wanted to share I've been contacted by a few people around the country and I've seen it happen so know it can compete with your thyroid hormone know it has very very nasty potentially nasty side effects and uh, just be your become your own advocate Okay. Dr. Shook, I hope you have a wonderful day. I appreciate you taking time to learn more about your health, and I'll see you on the next video.
Hey guys, Dr. Shook, thank you for viewing our videos. I hope they help you out. If you want to, just subscribe to our channel somewhere here. You can watch a video um, that YouTube's actually selected for you, so hopefully it'll help you out. If you need any other information or resources, just look in the description. We've got links to our website, to our nine lab test guidebook, and everything else that we do. I really appreciate you, and I hope you guys have a great day.